everybody. You are looking live. Hollywood Studios, more, more specifically Hollywood Boulevard. I had to cop myself a little caffeine. Just got off of work. Thanks for joining me. We're gonna tool around the Hollywood Studios today to this evening to see what we can't see and pop in maybe do a little merch shop maybe grab a bite to eat let's get to it I do have a bit of a rant I don't want to start the video off negative if you've never been to a Starbucks before a Disney Park's not the not the place to try the brand or try their coffee if you're if you're not somewhat familiar with the menu maybe try that at home I know I'll probably get some some pushback and feedback on this but it's not a good place to learn all about Starbucks in their mysterious ways practice that at home before you get into a situation with a hundred people behind you same can be said with self-checkout at the grocery store I saw a hilarious tweet the other day it said how come I always get behind the person that's never used checkout self-checkout or money before that's kind of how I felt just now at Starbucks I mean if you're asking multiple questions they pull in, they're pulling out <laughs> paper menus to kind of show you it's not a good time it's not a good place so that being said, we're gonna take it out of Rant Town and Negative Town and get into something more positive. That's Disney's Hollywood Studios on an absolutely gorgeous evening here in Central Florida. Temps in the high 70s. Humidity is not super stifling, so let's have a good time. And now, let's get to it. Just thought I'd give you an idea of some crowd level action. As we walk on down toward the Hollywood Tower of Terror. Not too bad. Give this about a 5.6 on a 10 scale of 10 being ridiculous. Get me out of here to, excuse me, let's start that over. One being, eh, it ain't that bad to, or like there's nobody there but you. And, 10 being horribly, horribly bad. It's about a five point, I don't know. What did I say, five two? It's not bad. We're gonna head into Sunset Club Couture. Couture, Couture. You get the idea. Let me get masked up and we'll head in. I have not seen this is a, another park that is very limited on their, another gift shop that's very super limited. I haven't even actually seen any outside of a couple pieces of 50th merch. But they do have some interesting, this is like the higher end stuff always oh man well boys and girls it ain't the dry fit but it's a mickey and boy is it bright oh my god they got a 2x it's almost like a tennis shirt but i don't know if you can see that i'm gonna have to look at my i don't even think i brought that much money honestly Huh. Interesting. Definitely some higher end clothes at Sunset Couture. Some a lot of Marvel stuff that you can pretty much find anywhere. I was kind of scoping. I saw a guy wearing a Hollywood Studios Nike polo that caught my eye, which I'd seen him before, but I 
again, if you've watched any of my shopping videos, you'll know the whole key to this thing is if you see something you like, buy it. Because you never know if you're going to be able to see it again. Because the way Disney stocks and you know, some stuff, you know, it's weird. Like, it'll beat around forever. And then just certain little things you'll pick out. And next thing you know, you never see them again. You got some Tommy Bahama in here. Let's check out their hat selection. Oh, baseline tap house shirt. That's kind of cool. All smalls, though. None for me. You run on any basic, you know, hats you've probably seen a hundred times over. All the gift shops around, but I like this place. It's not the first time I've been in here, in here, but I haven't been in here in a minute. I do love this tiki, tiki room raincoat, but I have probably arguably the best raincoat in the business today. If you haven't, <laughs> it was probably one of the first videos I put up. I had a big debate about what's better, the raincoat or the umbrella. It was like the first or second video, so if you haven't seen it, check it out. This is, shirt is awesome. I'm scared to look. All right, this is Tommy Bahama Disney collab. Yikes. I'll go ahead and put that back for later. As you may know from the last video, I am not Scrooge McDuck. And I'm, I think I'm going to let that, that Nike dry fit go. It's a weird color. It's a little flashy. 90 bucks. Man. I do like it. 90 bucks. Yeah, it's. I'm gonna pass on that. We'll do that another day. I'm not taking my own advice because as soon as I get home, I'll just be like, man, I should have got that shirt and then I'll never see it again. So, walk back here toward the rock and. Kid needs to be louder. Walking back here to the rock and roller coaster. And it is the guitar, the iconic guitar completely under scrim so I, a lot of people theorize that's because the rights to Aerosmith go, go to Universal or something I've heard but there's plenty of other allusions and references to Aerosmith throughout this area I mean you've got that giant poster right here you've got you know the big the big um, the big Sign with the upside down car with photo passes, you know, presented by Aerosmith still out front. So, not so, not so sure how much I buy into that. Maybe it's just a, a normal reefer. But we're gonna pop in the rock around the shop because I promise you, I'm not riding the rock and roller coaster. I'll tell you that story another day. I will say this for the fear as I'm looking around the merch here in the gift shop. There is no reference that I've found so far to Aerosmith on any of the merch. I mean, outside of the drumsticks and yeah, it's all just saying rock and roller coaster. Don't see any references to Aerosmith at all. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Lanyards, buttons, and pins. Don't see any references to Aerosmith. So maybe there, there is a little smoke to that fire, but nothing official's come back from that. Um, but I gotta tell you, just by just by looking looking in it definitely appears that I mean you guys know as well as I 
Disney felt like they could make a dollar on it, they would try it. So I do remember the last time that I was in here that there was a ton of Aerosmith branded gear, but it's been probably a couple years, maybe more, maybe five, since I've actually ridden this attraction. That's a again, not to keep teasing, but I'll tell you that whole story. Basically, I was suckered into riding this. I didn't know it went upside down and all that good stuff. So you can do the math there, but huh? So no merch. Had kind of a cool moment. I don't know if you can see. I'm wearing my pe people mover shirt, and <laughs> little preteen kid, little little guy, was wearing a uh, people mover hat. He kind of touched his hat and pointed at me. He gave me the nod, the the if you know you know nod. That kid's cool. He's going places. Well, looked like he was going to <laughs> Tower of Terror presently, but <laughs> I like that kid. So, kid, if you ever see this video, nod right back at you, bro. Over here in Gal in the Black Spire Outpost, where I bought this hat. But I'll tell you what's underrated about Black Spire, the two. Galaxy's Edge. People don't really, I don't really see a lot of people doing. And that's using the the app to play the little mini games throughout the land. It's a lot of fun. You know, I did it one night. It was later in the evening. And a lot of the stuff around, or a lot of the like, like the power generators, the ships, and all that good stuff. You can like hack into it and make it do stuff. Like they'll power up or make noises or light up or do different things. And it's kind of cool. And like, I can't tell you like how many people around me that night that I was doing those were stopping and asking me. So if you're not familiar, you go to the, the Play Disney Parks app and basically it turns your uh, mobile device into a data, they call it a data pad. And even the, the guests or the cast members will, if you see, if they see you recording or using your phone, they'll, say, they'll ask you about your data pad. Basically, it's really cool. Like nobody, and I know it got a lot of airplay like when they first opened uh, Galaxy's Edge, but I don't really see a lot of people using it anymore. And it's, it's pretty fun. Like I've done it a couple times and like the bigger ships, like or even the Millennium Falcon, you can like get it to power up and cycle really cool so it's free included you know if it's you're in line all day and you want something to do break out that play disney app and, and interact with some of the links it, it is pretty dang cool you got ray and chewy hanging out this is a, another cool part of this land is that You'll see Ray and Chewy down here on the resistance side and then on the, I always want to call it the Union, but it's, I don't know, the Imperial side. I can't, it's, I'm sure it has a really, I can't ever remember the names of it, but they have like their characters like Kylo Ren and Stormtroopers would be out on their end of the of Galaxy's Edge. So pretty dang cool. So here on this stage area, this Kylo Ren ship is where you'll typically see stormtroopers, Kylo himself come out. They'll sometimes be up on that bridge as well. Um, it's kind of right, I mean, you can't really miss it. I mean, it's right across from the milk stand. But everything just about i hate to say everything because it's really not true but there's a lot of interactive stuff in this this land that i just feel like people don't really use for the full benefit and it's free what are these shirts for ants all right i don't know just had another guy i was hacking in to see if i could come up with a way to use the app and film at the same time and i had another 
random guests like, hey, what is that? What are you doing? Is it, you know, how much is it, you know, does it cost anything? So I'll go to one of the big power generators or a ship and see if I can't hack into it on video and kind of show you. I won't be able to show you my screen, but I will be able to show you like the, what, what it does basically when you do it, like this power generator right here. I think if I recall correctly, um, so this big power generator. So let's see if I can do it for you. So it's not letting me do the data pad and the, and the camera simultaneously. So what I'll do is I'll bring my Sony out here and kind of show you. It'll be a little bit easier to do and a little bit easier to see. So we'll do that on, a, on our next adventure. Trust me when I say it's pretty cool. So really obscure celeb sighting. If you like other Disney blogs or travel blogs, just ran into, I want to say her name's Katie. Spencer and Katie from Best Life and Beyond. I didn't get a picture or anything. They look like they're in a big time hurry, but I did say hi, I love your videos. Pretty cool. Have not, uh, seen them They're, they live out in california so it's kind of cool seeing them at disney world but that does lead me to believe we might see a couple maybe another person maybe adam the woo they usually travel in packs you know but we shall see so i'm out front of indiana jones stunt spectacular which they just announced was reopening soon what's up with fantastic it's the greatest nighttime show that, in my opinion, Disney has to offer. You, you got the time and money to open, reopen this. Let's get Fantasmico, shall we? Another rant. That's two for one show. I don't know about. It. I don't know where we're headed. I think that's gonna do it. Nothing else, man. I got my steps in. What better way to burn some calories and do a little people watching, a little. Immerse yourself into some Disney. Thanks for joining me. If you liked what you saw, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. If you hated what you saw, subscribe, but mash the button really angrily as you do so. That being said, keep the parks clean. I've uh, seen my fair share of Disney meltdowns. Hell, I've been a part of a couple. grown man and wife arguing about the purchase of a salacious crumb puppet that sets on your shoulder that the ferret's going to chew up and the living room's a shared space and that can't be displayed. That was one of the funnier ones. Uh, I was gonna gonna maybe record around it so you could get it but it got awful blue awful quick but just remember people keep the parks clean.